Late last night, along the shores of Lake Ontario, there was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake at 11.45 p.m. local time, about 15 kilometers or uh, 9 miles southwest of Henderson. It had a depth of about uh, 10 kilometers or 6 miles. 599 people said they felt this earthquake. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. This earthquake was felt over a very large area, all the way up to Ottawa, Canada, and as far south, let's see, down there by New York. Um, oh, there's one right there too. Leoa. Now that was 411 kilometers south or 255 miles. Earthquakes on the east coast are felt over a much larger area than they would say on the west coast. USGS said it was a magnitude 3.4 but I get a magnitude 3.6. Yeah it rattled for quite a while. I'll maybe bring it down and I'll show you if you got a larger screen you can see it uh, magnitude 3.63 um, they're not reporting any aftershocks um, they did have one let me see if I can get it here yeah a very small little microquake right there and then we got another one right there actually it's a series of Oh, very small quakes. Let me bring this over for you so you can see it. Um, these were very shallow earthquakes. Let me go back to the seismic signature. Yeah, the ground is adjusting afterwards. So, more than likely, um, should I add that one in? What the heck? Why not? So, it comes in as a magnitude 1.37. I'll bring it down so you can see that. Yeah, too small for anyone to really feel it. And then we got another one. You can see a series of them here. Yeah, slow moving tremors. Yeah, yeah, the ground is adjusting. They're not reporting any of these. Let's look at this. Yeah, see, it's real shallow. Yeah, the ground adjusting from this um, earthquake right here. Yeah. Did you feel this earthquake? Yeah, look at that. Let me go back to the signature. Um, the station that I'm using, this is the first wave, the P wave of the earthquake. And that's the actual earthquake right there. It's because it's, let me show you. This is the station that I downloaded the data from, which would be somewhere around 23 and a half miles from where the earthquake occurred. Back in April, there was a magnitude 4.4 that USGS revised to a 3.6. That was um, April 23rd. That earthquake spurred about a dozen small aftershocks in the following days. Now, Henderson, um, historically, this area is significantly above for earthquake numbers for the New York State average. Um, it is 70% smaller numbers of earthquakes say compared to the United States. Yeah there's no tectonic boundaries through here. There is fault lines because let me bring this out. Originally yeah the uh, continents slammed up against each other here. Yeah and you know about how the fault line goes up and around Michigan and goes down to the New Madrid fault zone but we also have a fault zone which I do not have labeled yeah um, up through here uh, Lake Champagne part of this failed rift zone yeah it goes all the way down 
Yeah, that's got a real interesting history. Yeah, it goes all the way down to through Lake George and um, Saratoga Springs. And yeah, lately, those of you that do follow me would have noticed and I've talked about how a lot of these failed rift zones, much like the New Madrid fault zone, um, they seem to have been reactivated as our Earth magnetic field becomes weaker and weaker. On Volcano Discovery, there was several reports sent to them about what it felt like. This one here said they initially thought it was an explosion. Um, they were in the basement. And after ruling out a nuclear bomb, yeah, we're on a alert, aren't we? You should be prepared nuclear war um i feared it was an earthquake because i am on ground level and can see the floor moving okay another one said i moved um under it moved under us in one direction across the room like it traveled shallow underneath us um across the house mexico new york said it was a long vibration and they were sitting on the couch at the time of the earthquake. Now, Clayton, New York, they heard the sound of the earthquake. Said it sounded like a freight train bearing down. Uh, thought it was a tornado. Wow. They felt the wave, the vibration, the energy pass through their house. It sounded like heavy snapping and cracking in the rafters. That's not good. Um, if you own the home, you probably should reinforce your raf rafters to be earthquake safe said it was light shaking and then it was over in about 10 seconds another one from harbor view road henderson new york they thought it was thunder at first but the intensity length and vibration made me realize that it must have been an earthquake i could tell it was a long underground vibration rumbling it did not rattle or shake anything in the house. Sandy Pond, New York. Two large booms that felt like my house was being hit, followed by shaking of the ground and my house for about 20 seconds or so. Watertown, Jefferson, New York. They were in bed, felt the vibration under them, felt like rollers moving very quickly beneath me and the bed. My son is down the hall in his room. Um, he was sitting on the floor. We are on the second floor where our, ba where our bedrooms are, excuse me, living room and kitchen downstairs. Um, no appliances are on like the washer, so I thought I never felt the washer before. Fish tank water was vibrating. Another report, at first they thought it was a heavy truck or the thunderstorm. The length and the intensity ruled out um, those options, of course. Another report about the sound. It must have been pretty intense. Sounded like something that was slowly crashing nearby, rumbling and vibrating, but different than thunder. Is there actually a town called Paperwork? Felt something, not sure what it was. I turned off the TV so I could zoom in solely on what was going on. Things were rattling and small hanging de decorations um, were swaying back and forth. Lasted for about 15 to 20 seconds. I'll give you a link to this so you can read all the different reports for yourself. Yeah, like I said, um, yeah, it's probably a 3.6. And then you can see here how the ground is just, yeah, um, readjusting itself. Yeah, oh, it went small on me, didn't it? Yeah, I hate it when it does that. See that, the rolling motion? Yeah, it's still still ongoing. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, more slow-moving earthquakes. So did you feel this? Um, more than likely, you didn't have any damage, but if you did, let me know. And if you did have damage, you know, they do sell earthquake putty to... Um, secure your items uh, to the shelves you should have your bookcases bolted and hot water heater strapped to the wall you are capable 
and there is a history for the the east coast there um, in this location of a magnitude 5 earthquake or even stronger and like I said in multiple videos yeah um, earthquakes are increasing around the world and this is an ancient failed rift zone I don't have a name of it um, but up there it starts up there by Lake Champagne it probably extends all the way up um, to Canada anyway so yeah thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later God bless y'all bye Thank you.